All right. Hello, Go High Level World. So, um, we ran into a problem where we were having trouble um, mapping and updating custom fields for companies, right? And so, I just want to make this uh, video because it took us a while to figure this out, but I hope uh, this helps you. Whoever else is running into this problem will help you because if you read the documentation, it's not very clear. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's just hop into it. So, let's say you have custom fields made inside here and i'll just go ahead and jump into this here um integration doo -doo -doo -doo, custom fields and you have a whole bunch of custom fields specifically set up inside your company right and inside your company if you've ever run your api you realize that you cannot map your any customer fields uh using these keys right um into and getting the values into these so there is a way to do it. First, you need to go into uh, the marketplace, the, mar the marketplace, go high level marketplace, create an app, and then turn on your scope for objects. Okay, that's the most important thing. All your objects uh, scopes have to be turned on. You can leave this app that you create as private. It doesn't need to be public. It's, if, it, if, if it's just for you uh, and you're using it internally on your own systems, um, you can leave it as private and all this will still work. So make sure that you have objects in your scopes turned on. Once you've done that, um, you'll be able to actually run a, uh, APIs um, and map APIs. Now, the way that it works is that your custom fields for a company actually don't live inside of custom fields. They live inside of records. So um, the hierarchy looks like, I think I had it written up here earlier like this okay uh this id doesn't matter so i'm not showing anything important but um the way this works is normally you have contacts and inside of contacts you have couple custom fields and based on the interface it kind of looks like that way for a company but it's not it's actually companies right which are actually objects and inside them those there are records and inside of records are the fields so this is how the code in the background works well the interface looks like this so let's dive in so to get these fields to be mapped properly right you have to create uh you have to do a records api call and i'll show you that here so here you're going to go to create records and that's where you're gonna this and then go to this link here this is really helpful this documentation when you open this up it brings you here to this additional documentation which is extremely helpful to create a record api update records api right now we're going to focus on creating a records um and what's what that does is when you create a record okay uh it will create the business data so if i go back to here go to contacts go into companies you will see that all of our custom fields here oops not there sorry this one here all of our custom fields are fully filled out all the way we got a lot of custom fields for the company right uh and not only that uh the company itself it still gets associated with the person that we're associating it with right and it's still it, it's, it's all connected and it still works um perfectly but again mapping these custom fields inside of a company is where the big trick takes place right go to associations you'll see that it's still connected okay so and everything is filled out so uh the way to make that happen again is you have to use the the records api okay um and this gets a little tricky because it in the records api the documentation isn't very clear um on how this whole thing works but so let me just show you the api calls so to create a record or to create a business a company uh, with all the custom fields filled out you're going to use this url string objects slash business slash records right so it's going to be objects slash and the schema key is actually business in the sense because we're updating a business object and then we're creating a record so that schema key you're just going to change that to be business now if you're using custom objects then you're going to use uh, the custom object key uh, but in this case we're just talking about 
um, businesses. Uh, it's the same thing. I guess here yeah, I can just show you what a custom object is real quick uh, so you can understand. So if we go to objects and we have a custom object here, click on it. If I open this up, uh, there's my key. Um, it's actually not with the S's, but that's that's where you get your your that's your schema key that goes here in your schema key if you were working with custom objects. In our case, we're only working with businesses, which is uh, an, which in Go High Level is a company uh, object. And that's where, so you're gonna change this to be business, okay? And then leave records. And then that's pretty much it from that point. It's, um, you know, your, your package is pretty simple. Your name field is your company name. They call it name. Uh, remember, everything is nested under, so you have your location. Look, underneath that is your properties, and nested underneath that is your name, right? And then you're going to, and then you're going to have your business name. Remember, since this is creating a company record, right? Name in this case is not your contact name. This is going to be your business name. And then, of course, you just, these are all the different fields that we've, that we've created, all the custom fields for a business that we've created. Um, but, over here, you can see they don't really give an example, but if you go into this documentation, they give you a pretty good example. So business, and then they give you this really nice, right, example. Um, so it's pretty easy to follow, but that's how you're going to make. Um, notice here, though, I just just to point this out, because this drove us a little nuts. Uh, you don't realize it, but this and everything below it is actually nested underneath properties. So make sure that in your schematic, you have properties and then nested underneath that is all your fields for your, for your business. And that's how you can create and sync your company fields with any data that you want and actually sync your, your, your custom fields and get values in your custom fields. Um, so and anybody who's ever tried to create a contact and added custom fields in your, in here, Right uh, has realized that it does that the custom fields do not get translated over into the company fields, uh, into the company's custom fields, right? Which are all only the basic ones will get translated over, but all these other ones that maybe you have for a company, they're not getting translated over because you're trying to sync those fields using the custom fields API, and that's where the problem is, because uh, there is. You know, there is an API for the custom fields and inside of, of create contact, right? Inside the create contact, naturally you would think contacts, create contact. And inside here, you of course have custom fields um, that you can send in, right? Uh, and you would think that that matters. Now, another key thing here to note, um, very, very, very important is when you're sending this data, your keys, right? So these are all the custom keys. Uh, do not, you need to remove this part here. Um, so this is your field. You're going to remove this pre, uh, this, this, um, prefix here, which is business dot. You're going to fully remove that. And that is actually your custom field, uh, for your companies. Okay. Um, for example, uh, lease amount for us, we have a custom field for lease amounts for companies, right? Uh, to, to map this properly in the JSON, um, you're going to take out that prefix, right? You'll see here in our, in our preload, there is no, it's not, it's not this, it's not business dot, right? Which you would think it was because that's what the key is inside of uh, your custom fields, right? Folders, companies, right? It has the business dot. What you're gonna do is remove that business part. Uh, same thing with your, when you're, if you're having issues with your API, uh, when mapping um, custom, uh, con custom fields for your contacts, uh, remove the contact part before your, your, um, your field and it'll it'll work. So uh, that's how you update and uh, sync your uh, or create a business record that completely 
works and fills in all the custom fields for your business uh, company records. Um, so again, make sure your scopes are turned on. Um, make sure that you're using object and record, you're updating object records because companies and businesses are under object records for updating, not under custom fields, not under contacts, nothing of that. It's all under object records. I uh, hope that helps. Um, yep. Yeah.